All right, so today I want to talk to you guys, my fellow global players, about a very exciting new feature that is technically already in the game. It came with update 4.10.0, but we can't really make use of it yet until the five year anniversary begins. But before that happens, I want to make sure that all of you guys are fully aware of just how this system actually works so that you can be fully prepared to take advantage of it once it gets here. Okay, so of course I'm talking about the brand new skill orb slash equipment system that JP has had for a while and essentially it allows us to further enhance our units by boosting their hidden potential skills like crit, additional dodge, and so on and so forth, or their basic stats like attack, defense, and HP. And depending on the skill orbs you're using, these can have a pretty significant impact on the performance of your unit. So for the purpose of today's video, we're going to be using this very comprehensive article I found on the Dokkan Wiki, which should give us all the information we need um, to understand how everything works. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do here is read this little paragraph, which says, skill orbs allow us to improve stats and potential skills for all characters that are UR, rarity, or higher. Once applied, they can never be removed, only replaced by a different skill orb. The one getting replaced will be lost. So to further expand on that a little bit, basically you can find the skill orb or equipment slots for each character in their hidden potential system. And uh, one point I really want to emphasize is that, as it says, you cannot remove a skill orb from a character once it's been equipped. Like once you equip a, a skill orb to the character, that is that character's skill orb. And the only way to remove it is by destroying it and replacing it with a different one. So what you definitely don't want to do is randomly equip skill orbs to random characters because some of the higher level ones, some of the higher rarity ones are really hard to get, right? So you don't want to regret like giving one of the best skill orbs to an absolutely trash character because you can never get that back. So uh, definitely something very important to keep in mind once this feature comes out. And moving on from there, we have the different classifications for the skill orbs. There's bronze, silver, and gold. And the bronze skill orbs can be used on characters that are UR or higher, which makes a lot of sense because only UR rarity characters or higher have hidden potential systems, right? And for the silver skill orbs, they can only be used on characters with a super attack level of 10 or higher. And finally, for the gold skill orbs, they can only be used on characters with at least two hidden potential paths unlock, unlocked or more. So basically two dupes or more. Now, of course, the first two, pretty easy to satisfy for almost any character, um, but the last one is quite a bit more difficult, especially if it's a summonable unit we're talking about, like a summonable LR. This one will definitely take uh, quite a bit longer for most people to actually unlock and be able to fill, right? And uh, as far as restrictions go, there are some restrictions on certain skill orbs, like some of them may be restricted to certain types, like AGL, extreme, or AGL, tech, STR, or maybe super AGL, or extreme fizz, and so on and so forth. Or some of them can only be equipped by characters in certain categories, like Universe 6, or just specific characters, like there are skill orbs for only Goku, or only Gohan, Goten, and I'm sure in the future, like, you know, for Broly and Gogeta, and so on and so forth. And as far as where we can get these skill orbs, there are a few different events, but when the five year anniversary first drops on global, there's only gonna be one event we can get skill orbs from, and that would be this Whis training event, which can be cleared daily. And every single time we do it, we can get a few skill orbs. Uh, the rarity and the level is random. Most of the time you will be getting a bunch of garbage ones, but if you're, if you're lucky, you could get some pretty good ones as well. So that is the first event we can get skill orbs from. And then if we're talking a little bit in the future, when some other events come out, we can also get some skill orbs from Extreme Super Battle Road when that drops, and also Explosive Chain Battle, which based on the most recent data download, might be coming earlier to global. 
than we initially would have thought. I mean, it could still take a while, we're not really sure, but there are some signs, some clues that point to potentially this event coming to Global for the five year anniversary. I'm not really sure, so we'll see. But once this drops, we can also get some skill orbs from that. And uh, there's also going to be a father and son training event where we can get some specific skill orbs for Goku, Gohan, and Goten. And uh, also, the Universe 6 story event is going to get a new stage, which can be cleared daily as well, I believe. And this one drops some skill orbs for only Universe 6 units. And uh, recently, JP also got this Grand Priest event, which gives us skill orbs for um, only members of Team Bardock. Pretty random, but I guess also pretty cool as well. And uh, I'm sure in the future, we'll get different skill orbs for other categories too. Let's move on to the actual skill orbs now and their associated boosts. So we're starting here with the bronze skill orbs first. There's um, ones for the basic stats like HP, attack, and defense, as well as the hidden potential skills, right? Like combo attack or additional attack, uh, critical hit chance, evasion, or dodge, uh, defense boost, type attack boost, super attack boost, and also recovery boost. And these ones all go up to a maximum. Actually, no. So the basic stats go up to a maximum, a level 5. And it goes from 100% or not 100%, 100 um, stat boost to 500 stat boost depending on the level. So each level is 100 stats. That definitely was not the best way to phrase it. Each additional level equals 100 extra stats. So level 1 is 100. Level 2 is 200, level 3 is 300, level 4 is 400, and level 5 is 500, and this applies to HP, attack, and defense. And uh, for these skill orbs, they're generally associated with a certain type. So let's say you get an AGL HP skill orb, then only AGL units can equip that skill orb. And if you get like a int, you know, attack skill orb, then only, you know, int type characters can equip that skill orb. Now we also do have some specific ones available on JP right now for the Team Bardock free-to-play units and uh, these ones also give you know some additional uh, hit of potential skill levels critical hit evasion for you know Borgos, Fasha, um, Tora, Bardock, and Shugesh so there you go and uh, now let's move on to the silver skill orbs and these ones uh, also can provide some hidden potential skills and they go up to level 5 actually so obviously uh, the level that's associated with the actual skill orb is the number of levels that will be increased for your unit once it's equipped so if you equip a level 3 you know combo attack or additional attack skill orb then your character will get three additional levels these ones are also type restricted so only that specific type of character that the skill orb is associated with can equip that skill orb. Like I said, they go up to level five and all the different skills are represented. Recovery boost, super attack boost, uh, type attack, type defense, crit, combo, or additional, all that stuff. We also have the specific silver skill orbs from the father-son training event. So this one's for Goku, this one's for Gohan, and this one's for Goten and also the Universe 6 exclusive skill orbs as well. And uh, these are from the Universe 6 story event, and they go up to level 3, I believe, except for the skills here, which uh, go up to level 4. So we got type defense boost, attack boost, super attack boost, recovery boost, and uh, it doesn't look like there are any for additional dodge or crit, as far as the Universe 6 ones are concerned, at least not right now. Okay, so... For the Team Bardock units, of course, same thing. We got the Silver Skill Orbs for different skills that are specific to each of the characters. And uh, everybody gets some Skill Orbs. I'll just quickly scroll through these for you guys to take a look at if you want to, but it's pretty self-explanatory. And finally, we've got the Gold Skill Orbs, which in my experience are the hardest ones to get, the most rare ones. You can see that the Hidden Potential Skills are all represented here as well. Got combo attack, crit chance, evasion, type defense boost, type attack boost, super attack boost, recovery boost, and these ones also go up to level 5. Some specific ones for universe 6 characters, which are, I guess, only level 3. I don't see any other ones here. I'm not sure if there's level 2 and level 1, but 
Based on what I see here, it's only level 3. As with the other ones we saw before, these ones can only be equipped by Universe 6 category characters. Also, the gold skill orbs here for the Team Bardock characters that go up to level 4 for each of the hidden potential skills. And lastly, there are some unique like combo skill orbs that are basically the best in the game because they give a combination of both some hidden potential skills as well as some basic stats. So we got one for a critical hit chance as well as attack, and then another one for evasion as well as defense, and then a third one for combo attack, and also HP. These are only available right now through Extreme Super Battle Road, and uh, they're only also locked or specifically for uh, a super type unit or extreme type unit. So depending on which stage you clear, that's gonna be the type of like combo skill orb you're gonna get. So let's say you clear the super AGL stage of Extreme Super Battle Road, then the skill orb you get is gonna be for super AGL. If you clear the Extreme STR stage, then it's only gonna be for Extreme STR. And like I said, these do seem to be the best skill orbs currently available in the game because it's like a combination of uh, the two types of boosts. Finally, at the bottom here, we have a couple of other skill orbs that are in the game files, in the data, but are not currently obtainable at the moment. And they're different combinations of different skills. Like we got, um, you know, recovery as well as dodge or additional and dodge or additional and um, defense boost or a crit and recovery. Best one is probably this one, which is crit as well as additional. Um, and as I said earlier in the video, these are definitely the types of skill orbs you want to pay special attention to as far as like which units you give them to because they're pretty rare, they're really good, and you don't want to be giving one of these skill orbs to like, I don't know, uh, what's a bad unit? Majub or something like that. I mean, to be fair, Majub could get a really good Extreme the Awakening in the future, and maybe at that point if he's like your favorite character, you could give it to him, but as of right now, I wouldn't recommend it. That's essentially everything you guys need to know, at least to get started for this new skill orb slash equipment system. It is definitely a big change that is coming to the game, and I just wanted to really make sure that you guys knew what to do once skill orbs actually came to play, right? So hopefully we accomplished that. And uh, if there was anything in this video that was confusing to you, that you have questions about, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. And uh, I'll try my best to either answer them or hopefully, you know, some other people who are knowledgeable about this stuff can also help out with that as well. But uh, that is today's video, going over the brand new skill orb equipment system that is I want to say coming to global, but really already on global, just we don't have any way of getting the skill orbs until the anniversary begins, and uh, you know, over time we'll get other ways to get more skill orbs and different skill orbs for different categories. The possibilities are really endless, so uh, that's it guys. That is today's video. Hopefully you guys learned something as you watched it because it'd be really sad if you didn't and as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.